Hey, welcome to the worst of the best. We're the worst of the best podcasters out there. I think we are definitely the worst. Of all the, of all the best podcasts out there, you and I are the worst. We're the worst. We're the worst. Uh, really excited about this episode. Uh, previously, I forget which episode, we did, um, according to, do you know which one? Well, episode nine, just so our fans know, if uh-huh. you actually watch this on our Facebook channel, episode nine, Facebook took away. We still have the audio and it'll be released on iTunes. Because of all the uh, musical rights, it, Facebook heard all those musical things that we played and pulled it away. So look for, on iTunes for episode nine when that comes out. But we did do a previous one, I think it was seven or eight, where we talked about the highest paid actors. And according to Forbes, who the highest paid actors were, male actors, and who was the worst of that. We won't give that away. Listen to that on iTunes or on this video channel feed uh, on Facebook. So today we're doing female actors and from Forbes, the highest paid female actors of 2016, their amounts, and we will decide who is the worst actress from the highest paid in the world. We're doing the top 10. Top 10, yes, yeah. obviously. Yeah, okay, thank you for that. Yeah, all right, well, let's dig into this, brother. We've got 20 minutes, let's go. All right, much like the number 10 from our previous uh, male actors, um, this is a, and my apologies, I can barely speak English, don't expect me to do. Like, our last name is, I guess, ethnic. I guess you could say, I don't know if ethnic is the right word. Yeah, I don't know about that. It's Russian. We're not Russian. Well, we are. Anyways, long story short, we do the best we can with our last name. So, just don't want to. So, basically, what Ruben is saying is. I like the idea that we have so many listeners that people would be up in, <laughs> up in arms. Yeah, for all our tens and tens of listeners who listen to the Worst of the Best podcast, please send your hate mail to Ruben. For his uh, butchering of some of these uh, foreign names. Tika Padukon. She's very attractive. Very attractive woman. Uh, but I suspect she's not from Texas. Uh, her name is Deepaka Tuchukataka. And uh, she's been in such films as what? Oh, she's been in a lot of films. Um, well, she's the number t- 10 highest paid actress in the world. Of 2016. Of 2016. She made 10 mil. Imagine 10 mil in India. I know, but I mean, this. I don't want to get on this like males get paid higher than females, but boy. There's a, th- you think there's a wage gap? There is a wage Be- gap because between... the, number, the number 10 highest paid male actor was like 30 something million, and he was uh, of the same descent. Uh, now, a lo- if you're listening in North America, a lot of you might know her from Plex. Return of Xander Cage. Oh, she was the Triple X Return of Xander Cage. Okay, good yeah. stuff. All right. All right. Okay. Next oh, one. Next one. Okay. I that's I don't. I don't know her, so I, I I'll tell you now right, right now. Ruben, for full disclosure, she probably won't be my choice for worse because I don't know her. Speaking of Russian, I'm kind of surprised about the next one. Number nine. Is it Mila or Mila? My apologies. Mila. Mila. Mila Kunis, uh, who's married to uh, Ashton Kutcher. A- Ashton. Uh, I like her. So oh, she's great. Yeah. I, I like her. So already, she's, she's a good actress. She was great in Black Swan. Boy, she's pretty. She was good on uh, what should we call? She's it? a the Family Guy, seventy show. Yeah, she's, she's a voice of Family Guy. She's Meg on Family Guy. Yeah. Um, she's very pretty, very funny. Uh, she was on the seventy show. She's on Robot Chicken. Oh, up. right. She was in Oz, great and powerful. I saw that in the I theaters. Never, I never saw that. I know it sounds a little cheesy, but like, you know, when you see like a horrible film. But like the acting is really good. Okay, that was her. So Oz, the Great and Powerful, was not a very good movie, but good acting. Okay. Yeah, I didn't really enjoy it. So Milas Kunis, mm-hmm. or sorry, Milas, <laughs> Mila Kunis is uh, Mila. She's number nine. She got paid eleven million dollars in twenty sixteen. All right. So there's oh. definitely a wage gap between the top ten male and the top ten female actors, but that will be an ongoing theme, I guess. Number eight, Ruben. Now, I'm not really familiar with her. I think it's pronounced Julia. Julia Roberts. <laughs> America's sweetheart. Oh, Julia. Julia Roberts. I have a weird... I've softened on my hatred of Julia throughout the years. Well, good for you. you don't, uh, there's no reason to hold on to hatred. I don't know why I don't... I, find, I think it's just a project she's chosen. Of course, you know, the romantic comedies. It, I have to admit that I'm not a big romantic comedy viewer uh, uh uh but uh anyways is she your sweetheart uh just my wife is but thank you for asking and i'm canadian so but i hear what you're saying I get, one of the I, most I, annoying I question do you, one of the most annoying things that julia's ever done 
was when Denzel Washington won Best Actor I don't know for uh, Training Day. Okay. And she was the one that read the the awards she won the previous year. Yeah, yeah. I forget for what film. Was it Aaron yeah, Brockovich? Yeah. yeah. So she opens up the envelope, and before announcing the name of the winner, we don't know who the winner is, Julia yells out, this is the best day of my life. Denzel Washington. Yeah, that's that's. It's hard to have class with that sort of it, thing. It's weird. It's almost equivalent of when James Cameron. <laughs> I think James Cameron is a very gifted director, but boy, that guy has a PR issue. Remember when Titanic won Best Picture, and he had a moment of silence for the victims of the Titanic? <laughs> Did he really? Yes. <laughs> you know, hundred years later, let's have a. Let's have a moment of silence for Jack. <laughs> did, did he really? Did yes, that? at the Oscars. It was so uncomfortable. You know, like, anyways. So, what's more uncomfortable? What's the <laughs> Julia Roberts saying this is the best day of my life or James Cameron's moment of silence? Okay. So well, she, for Julia Roberts, I felt sorry for the people that didn't win. For James Cameron, I guess I just feel sorry for him that he can't read a room. Yeah. I, 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 guess, I guess that's for both of them, really. Yeah, so Julia and James. So, I was kind of curious because I didn't know that she was doing anything. The, yes. So in 2016, she released Mother's Day. Yeah. Did you watch that? Do you even know what that's about? No, it's one of those ensemble cast movies. Money Monster. That was the box office bomb with uh, George Clooney, her boyfriend. Oh, you, you're on the ball with this. So those, so she, those two movies made her. Well, she's a yeah gross. Twelve mil. She got twelve million dollars. I wish I could bomb that big and earn that much again. Twelve million bucks, man. She's not making the money she used to. Two oh. movies. So back in the eighties or nineties, she would have got twelve million just to look at a script. Now the next one, I am a big fan of. Whose turn is it? It's mine. Okay, go ahead. So number seven, highest paid actress in twenty sixteen. Oh, sorry. I'm not allowed to say. I'm not allowed to say actress. Well, Forbes is actress. Do they? Is well, that the highest paid actress? Am I allowed to say actress? Okay. I said female actor. I don't understand that. I don't know why. Well, they... the, there's a shift going to make everything gender neutral. I just don't know. What we're... Are we supposed to say movie thespians? I'm not sure. What... Anyways. So for the sake of this podcast, if you again, if you have any hate mail, send it to Ruben. Please. Uh, uh, so the world's highest paid actress in 2016 at $13.5 million, Amy Adams, double A. Wow. I all right. You don't like her? I don't not like her. Okay, 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 okay. okay. That makes no sense. Well, I don't. Have okay. you seen her act? Yes, I did. In fact, I just saw a movie last night that she was in called Arrival. I don't know Arrival. Have you seen it? I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I see. I, okay, so you're aiming at this is like her biggest movie last. Okay, okay, here's the thing about me is I watch and I discard. I usually go to the movies about once a week, um, and then I see movies. Uh, at home, and I just like I just move on with my life. Like the other day, somebody said, "Well, you know, Star Wars fan." I'm like, I've seen every movie, and I look right. forward to seeing the new ones. But I watched. But I knew it. that about you. I didn't can see their response to that. But I, but Amy Adams was in a movie called Arrival. It was like nominated for Best Picture, I think, and it was it was kind of a big movie in 2016. So that's um. Was she was a, a, oh, that was a good movie. Yeah, I didn't say it was a bad movie. I just said it all last night. So I just saw her. You just asked me to have seen her in movies, and that was like, yes. You're whole hum about her with that? <sighs> I'm whole hum about her. Right now, she's tied for somebody else right now, for worst of the best. Really? She's tied with Julia that, Roberts? I'm not giving anything away, Ruben. Come on. Oh, we're not, we haven't my got the, gosh. We're not through that. Well, we don't know who's up this list yet. I'm telling you right now. I, 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 I either do I. I really don't know. We don't know. Okay, so number seven, Amy Adams with two, 13 and a half million. Uh, she was also in Batman v Superman: Dawn of Justice. She I plays Lois. That, that one. She's Lois Lane. Oh, really? Again, uh, one of the worst parts of that film. She does nothing for me as Lois Lane. I'm sorry, Lois Lane does not have okay, red hair. Fine, she doesn't do anything as Lois Lane. It doesn't mean all right. Moving all right. on. I just I want to be brothers after this. So let's just move on. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> oh, I love her, Charlize Theron. Ugh, I'm hot cold about her. Well, it depends on the film she does, but boy, when she picks a good film, she can nail that film. Hey, have you seen that one called Mad Max? Love it. Oh, you've heard of it, eh? Love it. So what I love about... Love, yeah, the advertisements that these sites have are terrible. <laughs> uh, so, well, Ruben, say what uh, she was paid in 2016. Uh, $16.5 million. And what was she in for that year? 
Yeah. So while Ruben's looking that up, Mad Max, uh, my, for those who don't know, my wife, uh, Becky, she's an amputee, left arm amputee. And when I went in to see Mad Max, I didn't know that her character was a left arm amputee in the movie. So what I really loved about that, it was like there was a character on the screen, a very popular movie, where the character has her missing arm elbowed down just like my wife does. Mm -hmm. And what I loved about that is they didn't mention anything about it in the movie. No. They don't talk about it. It's not a, It's not an issue. It's not a It's not a hindrance. It's just, yeah, I don't have an arm there. And it's just like, so I, I, as a married man to my wife who has the same missing uh, limb, mm -hmm. it's kind of cool to see that in, on a big screen, big budget movie, a Absolutely. character, and there's nothing brought up about it. So love the writing on that saying, hey, this character is missing an arm probably from battle or something. But this person is missing that arm. Life goes on just like my wife. Life goes on. Nothing changes because she's missing it. So it's kind of cool. I like that. But she, what was she in in 2016? Uh, the Huntsman. I've never seen these. The, this uh, franchise, The Huntsman. Winter's War. The Last Face. I don't know it. Kubo and the Two Strings. It's an animation film, which got really good reviews, by the way. Oh, okay. I, I don't do animation. Um, that's it. For 2016. That's it. that's it. So she probably got a big payday for The Huntsman sequel. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so there you go. Budget fashion. And boy, Mad, oh, Mad Max is 2015. Yep. So she wow. would have been paid before then. So wow. yeah. So good for her. Good for Atomic her. Blonde. Yeah, it's. Uh, have you seen? Have you seen it? I've or? heard. I've heard that it's. Again, she's the best part of the film. Seven point two out of ten stars. Sounds like you're gonna be entertained. Yeah, you're. My guess is that she'll be on this list next year. Yeah, she'll be in the top ten. Something we'll look at next year. Yeah. So okay, Charlize Theron again. She's from South Africa. That's true. That's so it's true. good to see the uh, Africans being uh, honored on this list. Moving forward. <laughs> what? Okay, Ruben, oh, this is mine. Oh. Okay, so number five at 17 million, America's <laughs> America's favorite, Fan Bingbing. <laughs> Fan Bingbing. Did I get am I pronouncing that right? Um Fan Bingbing. <laughs> Or is it Bing Bing? I, I don't know. Um, I guess if your name's Fan, you always have a fan. Oh, sorry, Fan's her last name. Bing Bing, Bing, Bing fan. fan. Or I don't know. Yeah, anyways. Oh, she's probably from the Fan family. Okay. I, I didn't know who she was when it was Fan Bing Bing, but now we know it's Bing Bing Fan. I don't know who they're talking about. I wonder who her biggest fan is. So uh, you would know her. Well, she's well. Go to 2016 because that's what she was paid for. She's sure, paid, sure. She's paid 17 million. Well, she got her start just for those that don't know. Hongju Gagi. Yeah, it's a TV series. Uh, well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. By 2016, she was the lady in the portrait. Mm -hmm. I don't know. That almost sounds kind of familiar. She played Empress Alinara. Okay. Skip Trace. Samantha Ba. Mm -hmm. And oh, by League of the League of, League of Gods. Okay. Dodgy. Uh, I'm not Madame Bovary. Another film. Yeah. You're not that, you mean. Oh, the film's called. Yeah. Okay. And then um, Lord Legend of the Raging Dynasties. Oh, Lord Short for, or is that, was that an acronym? Yes, for Legend of Raving Dynasties. Okay, so obviously, Bing Bing Fan, um, Chinese money. So, but still, highest paid actress, number five. $17 million. And now, thanks to our podcast, there'll be 10 more people that know who she is. <laughs> Bing Bing Fan. Bing Bing Fan. Fan Bing Bing. Whatever you prefer. All right. What do you feel if your spouse was named Bing Bing? Oh, if, she's, if, she, if she has 17 million, you can call me Bing Bing. <laughs> All right. Ruben, go for number four. Now, Jenna, Jennifer, uh, I was saying Jenna's were so casual. Her and yeah, I. well, you and Jen. Yeah. Jennifer Aniston. I, I, I think most of our <laughs> most of our fans know who Jennifer Aniston is. Yeah, uh, I think she became famous um, from Leprechaun. That's right, Leprechaun. Yeah, I think she's famous for the. <laughs> if anyone knows the Leprechaun franchise, they'll know Jennifer Aniston. Uh, so yeah, she star of Leprechaun. She got seventeen. What was the money there were for Jennifer? Twenty-one mil. Twenty-one million in twenty sixteen. So what did she do <laughs> in twenty sixteen to give us? I'm guessing commercials in there. Maybe. Overseas commercials, sure. Just for being Jennifer, does she just get money just for being Jennifer? Those leprechaun royalties might be. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Just bring it so, up. So yeah, in 2016, she was in the hits Mother's Day with Julia Roberts. Wow. 
I bet you someone was thinking, this is going to be so good. All, they got Jennifer Aniston. They got... Uh, it's the same people that brought you Valentine's Day. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. <laughs> Are you is yawning it? at Jennifer Aniston, movie Mother's Day, or the fact that you haven't had sleep in 27 hours? Yeah, that one. Okay. Uh, Stork, she did a voice for that. And um, Office Christmas Party is probably where she made a lot there. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Good for her. Jennifer Aniston. Miss Brad Pitt. Oh, that's somebody else. Sorry. No, there isn't a Miss Brad Pitt. Not anymore. No. You know, she is just crossing her fingers for Brad. Are you kidding me? Jennifer Aniston is? Yeah. She's married to Justin Thoreau. Yeah, that stops people. All right. Who's number number three? That's mine. Boy, this is a... Uh, so number three is Scarlett Johansson. $25 million. Holy cow. Let me guess. Avengers? Was she not? Well, she's one of these. I'm she's kidding. the Black I'm Widow. Kidding. I'm kidding. I know. I know. Uh, so I will. I guess the rule for this list is you have to be like fairly attractive. <laughs> it seems like everyone. Except for Julia. Everyone's. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Hail Caesar. Right. That one bombed. Yeah. Uh, Jungle Book Voice. Captain America. And some movie called Sing, which she did the voice for. All right, so she got a pretty decent some Marvel cap- money. Marvel money, right? Okay. Gen- uh, what's her name again? Scarlett Johansson. Scarlett Johansson. Scarlett Johansson. She. Uh, her first marriage was on the island we live on. Oh, cool. All right. Finally, somebody with talent. And as Ryan was saying, everyone on this list is beautiful. All right, Rue, number two. Melissa McCarthy. All right. Melissa McCarthy. All right. Good for her. She uh, will not be returning a Sean Spicer. No, we just lost a viewer with that. We're just joining. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right. So Melissa McCarthy got uh, – she was number two. I'm actually curious who number one is. She's funny. She's funny. She's great. Uh, $33 million. Quite a jump. So she's got $8 million more than Scarlett. 33 mil. Check I didn't realize she was that uh, big. So, yeah, she's quite – she's quite the – she's she's a big draw. Um Are you Googling her? I don't know why. Makes... We're just tired. We're just tired. <laughs> All right. So, Melissa McCarthy, uh, did she have any big roles in? Everybody's going to hate. All right. Melissa McCarthy, first of all, um, she was what, uh, what big... Central Intelligence. Okay. Ghostbusters. Yeah. Gilmore Girls. Did you watch oh, Gilmore Girls? I have not seen Gilmore Girls. You okay, Rube? Oh, I'm fine. Just allergies. Um, yeah. Okay. But she's, yeah, she's a box so office w- heavyweight. What? <laughs> what time do we have left? We've got two minutes left. Two minutes. All right. Let's, okay. Let's, uh. Bring down All right, the, so number, 30, number one, number thirty-three. One, number so number one. So was there a bigger star than Melissa McCarthy? We have Jennifer Lawrence. <laughs> Jennifer Lawrence. Oh, of course. J Law. J Law. Yeah, J Law. Yeah, oh wow. What what was she in? Uh, somebody asked me. Uh, Rebecca asked me. Uh, not my wife, but Rebecca Dort. Dorte, so I don't know how to pronounce your last name. Sorry, Rebecca. How uh, can he hate? I don't hate. I don't hate Amy Adams. I don't hate her. I don't hate her. I don't hate anybody. But uh, that's a fair question. That's a fair question. Um, we'll 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 find out how much to do if she's not. So poor who, taste. Uh, J- Jennifer Lawrence. Uh, yeah, and so in 2016 she did a, a X Men movie, which I haven't seen yet. Apparently, it's really good. Which one? Um, Apocalypse. No, it's terrible. Really? It's actually the week, which is disappointing because Brian Singer is a great director. He did, he did a good job on the other ones, mm-hmm. but it's actually not that great. I would give it like six out of ten. I uh, watched her enjoy. How was that? I really enjoyed it. <gasps> Dude, how did you come up with that? Yeah, this is a gift that I have. No, I actually re- Joy is kind of one of my veins of movies that I like. Okay, it's a true story. It's a feel good. It has like a kind of like a Rocky theme, but real life and no fighting, but just like fighting right. for yourself, that sort of thing. Okay. 
Um, yeah, I really like that. So, Ryan, we got to end this. Yep. There is 10 highest paid actresses or actors that are female. Yeah. Or they're cisgender being female. And which one is the worst? Is the worst out of the best, according to you. Uh, and you cannot pick on uh, Bing Bing Fan. No, I don't know. Or Deepika. I'm not, because we we don't know if we've seen them any. That's right. I'm well, not. Did um, you see? I'm not. Uh, I Triple X. I've not seen Triple X. With the. Um, yeah. <laughs> so I'm not a fan of Bing Bing Fan. Jim Gasoline. I'm not a fan of Bing Bing Fan only because I don't know what she's been in. Um, so I will say my worst, the worst of the best paid actresses of 2016. I'm telling you right now. Let's, 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 let's do it at the same time. Are you ready? I think we're gonna get different. Ready? One, two, three. Julia Roberts. Hey, you didn't do it the same. I time. know because I'm torn. Why? Because I'm. I, I got. I've got. I have. A, okay, I'll tell you why. Here's my three that I'm choosing. Make a decision, brother. I know the three that I'm struggling with. Uh, believe it or not, I'm not a big Scarlett Johansson okay, fan. You're having a... I'm not a, a, a Amy Adams fan. Like I, I have, a, but I will say that yes, Julia Roberts is the like I. I will never go to a movie. Because of Julia. In fact, I'll probably avoid movies because of Julia. Would you, so, would you, would, yeah, would you avoid movie because of Amy Adams? No, no, I would not. I would not. But you might avoid one with Julia Roberts. Correct. All right. So Julia is the worst of the best paid actresses. Better luck next year, Julia. Yeah. All right. Maybe Aaron Brockovich will have another law thing. That's but right. But anyways, until then, you are the worst. I love my life. Remember, in front of every silver lining, there's a cloud.